Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elston and welcome to my channel, Elston Nation. In this video, we're going to walk you through how to convert up this rather expensive white scar. Now we're going to start off by using our old friend Indomitus. Now many of you may have this box lying around and like myself, you possibly have not touched it yet. So I decided to have a look through and see what would work well for the conversion. There were various different models which I was looking at to use for the White Scar, but inherently I wanted to go something with a lot of motion. The White Scars are all about speed, so looking through all the different components that I had, it pretty much came down to the Assault Intercessors because they are moving at a high speed. Inherently what I did though was clip off five Space Marines off the sprue to and assemble them to figure out what would work best. All of these components fit together with their corresponding component. This isn't a kind of multi-purpose kit where you can chop and change them. It is basically, you have to assign them to that. Now we're going to use the expensive part of this. So this set is from Forge World and this is the Evan Keshig Terminators. I decided to start separating out all the parts which I didn't need and that was the shoulder pads, the parts of the torso and the heads. The legs and the weapons were the main parts I wanted. Now I went ahead and assembled all the assault intercessors together to see what I was working with. As I said, these go with their corresponding legs so I had to assemble them all one way. Now what I didn't want was I didn't want these to to look like just normal assault intercessors. This is part of the Primaracy project, so I wanted to add a Horus Heresy field to the White Scar. Now I started off by hacking off these shield plates or thigh plates. I don't actually know what the name of them are. This is a little bit more tricky. Since all the kits are effectively one piece push together fits, I had to cut off the model itself. I also didn't want this gun holster on here as well. It just, it was a bit too clunky and getting in the way for what I had intended. Looking at the Ebon Keshik set, what I really wanted them for was their thigh plates and the cloak that went beside them. I wanted to go for a samurai-esque look for these. So I went through all the different legs and decided which would work best for the movement that's going on in the model. Then, taking a razor sword to it, I cut them off. Go delicate with this part. If you're going to do this yourself, just go very carefully. You have to do multiple cuts in multiple different directions to avoid just ruining it. It's not an easy process because these are molded into the leg. So you are inherently gonna have to chop off part of the leg for this to work. Once you've got it cut off, it's then a case of starting to scrape away, clip away the inside of it to make it fit the new leg that it's gonna to attach to. This isn't a straightforward process. You do have to sort of clip, snip, scrape with various different tools. I used a knife, I used the scraping tool, I used my clippers until I got to the point where it would fit together nicely. Using a knife in this way is a very delicate process, so please be very careful when doing it. And then what I would do is I would test fit, see if it would fit. If not, go back in and cut off more. Effectively, I wanted to create a groove down the middle where the thigh plate would attach to. Since I was having a hard time using the knife to gouge a hole, I decided to take sandpaper to it as well and see if this would be a quicker process. Now this definitely gave me a smoother result. Whether or not it was quicker is another question altogether. And as you can see, going backwards and forwards, keep on testing until I've got it right. Once I feel like I've got it okay, you brush away the dust, put it in place. If that looks good, which it doesn't, so we're scraping away more and then find the right position to finally attach it using super glue. Making sure the model is clean of dust as well as an essential part of this, you really don't want random bits of plastic and resin attached everywhere. Then I did the same the other side and there we go, we're starting to get the beginnings of our primaracy white scar. The next part was deciding the arms and the weapon position. For all this, I went around the sprue and found arms that I thought would be appropriate and would fit in the right sort of position that I wanted. Effectively, I wanted a two-handed glaive, which the white scar was swinging, it would give off a really nice sense of motion. Since all of these are part of a one-piece kit build, you do have to snip off the shoulder pads. And this isn't a delicate process by any means. I just hacked away with clippers until I got a rough sort of size 
what you need to be in mind of is we're going to cover this up so it doesn't matter if you're too rough and ready you just need to make sure that it will fit then i snipped off the hand and i cleaned up the edge with a knife then clipping off the nubs off the arm this allowed me to pose the arm in a different direction now here's where the problem happened i initially wanted the white scar having the blade going over his right shoulder swinging downwards and that's when i realized the hands are the wrong way around and this wasn't going to be something i could easily fix i thought like maybe if i just position the arms differently it might work but no the only way it would work was the blade on the other side so i then revisited and looked at the arm and thought what else could i do an initial thought and i kind of wish i went with this one was having the blade down as if it was scraping across the floor using an upswing motion i didn't go with this in the end i wish i had um, and if i'm going to do it again i will definitely do this i instead decided to have it so that he was leading forward with blade out front this is a kind of more of a charge thing a bit like an old knight however i'm not overly happy with the position of it what i learned from my previous videos of doing the primacy is if you're going to be doing double-handed weapons it's always good to start at one side and then make the other side fit so i locked one arm in place for super glue and cleaned it up enough so that i could attach one side of the blade arm to the model then all i would need to do is attach the other arm to fit that this is a lot easier than trying to get both of them in the right position at the same time now one thing i found out that the arm was just at a slightly odd angle so i needed to clip a bit off the shoulder to be able to tilt it forwards having this in place i decided to glue the arm to the torso and to the hands and we then have our primacy. Takes a little bit of jiggery pokery, but it got there in the end. If you want to speed this process along, use some activator and that will lock in place rather rapidly. Now, we're going to use another set for our next part, and this is from the Scions of Flame from Warcry. I effectively bought this kit for one particular thing, the shoulder pads from this lead dude. I wish all of them had these, so I had a look around the sprue to find out what, where they were, and luckily, I was greeted with a nice surprise where both shoulder pads were just sitting there, all ready to be clipped. No hacking into a clipped together piece, I could just clip them off the sprue and attach them to the marine now i know these are for chaos however i believe they diverge enough from chaos there's not massively ornate chaos markings or anything like that on them so i think i can get away with this since we're using the primacy as the backdrop for this it can be this kind of heresy-esque where they didn't all have aquilas and everything they they had a bit more character to them i feel a problem is when I tilted the arm, I created a massive gap. So I had to fill this up with green stuff. Effectively, all I did was smush a ball into the socket there. Make sure that the shoulder pad would still fit, which it did quite nicely. Glue it in place on both sides so we can see what we're working with. Then do a little bit of green stuff in by the butt plate. That's a butt plate, right? Do a little bit of green stuff work by the butt plate and in the shoulder. And what we're doing is just pushing the green stuff in, creating some kind of cabling or muscle fibers, if you will, and trying to simulate the butt plate back in again. It doesn't matter too much because I found out covering this up would probably be a wiser idea. So I found this little sheathed scabbard sword dagger thing or whatever it is, a space marine. And gluing that in place covered up the poor attempt at sculpting skills that I have. Then, coming in with the last piece is another Forge World kit, and this is the White Scars upgrade set. And we wanted this head to follow. This head would kind of simulate which way it was going. Uh, I twisted around a few times until I got to the point where I was happy which way it was facing, and then super glued it in place. Now the hair wasn't quite how I wanted it, so with a very small amount of pressure, I lightly teased it so it was facing a slightly different direction. 
then I added the backpack on and we are done. I'm quite happy with this conversion. It's relatively simple. However, it is a pricey conversion. I'm definitely going to have a look into using the rest of the Eben Keshig set to create at least a squad of these. Otherwise, I feel it'll be a real waste. And I'm going to see what else I can do with this. It'd be nice to have a cool little combat team of White Scars Primaracy. I'm quite happy with this conversion. It leans into the Samurai-esque aesthetic. However, also keeping that Space Marine look. It's a nice combination of the Horus Heresy in my mind because in the Horus Heresy, it seemed like they would take more influence from their history. So Space Marines weren't so uniform back then. They would add extra bits of armor on depending on what legion they came from. That is my Primaracy White Scar. If you do fancy giving a go, I've shown you the parts that you need. However, if you do know of any cheaper parts that I could have used in this, please put them in the comments below. I'd be really intrigued to see if anyone knows where I could substitute out these parts for other samurai-esque sort of looking things. Until next time, everyone, be good, be safe. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.